how you're from France and you know my size. <laughs> this is an alphabet, so every bird that we grab a laughing. This is a man. You want to hear me to tell a story about my wife? <laughs> so so is you. We are biting more than we need. The world right now is going insane. It's alarming. The death is just the biggest thing that happened in the world today. From the younger generation to the older right now, from all over the world, people, the death ratio is almost death per capita per And on top of that, they live in a country where the debt ratio that they will be the taxpayer to pay for the debt in the future. And a lot of young generation grow up in a country like Canada, US right now, their parents create enough debt in development that they're gonna grow up. They're gonna be the burden, the shoulder that burden. Anyhow. And that thing getting bigger every day and then no sign of slow down. Welcome to the information world. Welcome to a lot of smart, dumbness people in the world. People getting dumber and dumber and dumber. Because you no longer yourself. People know a lot, but you're, even you know a lot, but not necessarily you're smart. You buy a lot of clothes. Why you buy a lot of clothes? Because you buy by impulse. By you get a computer and you just click on something and it pop. <laughs> and no longer, you know what? I don't care how smart you are. The pop there have different psychologists impacted you. Sooner or later, you will give up. Your intelligence now is taken over by artificial intelligence, AI. Everything you do, every news you read nowadays, how do you know it's a real news? Detect incredible work for you to try to find out if that news is true or not. Because they know how to twist a little bit. Every channel of TV right now, they do not give you news. They give you their opinion. Every website, every Facebook, anything you do nowadays, you are a reflection of five other people thinking of five different information, a channel, a thing that you subscribe to, and they become you. They be and you live with a wife or husband who no longer your true wife or husband, because your wife or your husband is behave in reflecting the opinion of their website or four or five people opinion around them. So that's why you can see we spend less time to understand the real thing, but we spend more time to do things that other people, most other people do. When you fit in a crowd with their opinion, a political opinion or something, you have to fit in. When you fit in a crowd who have a different Spending and you around that crowd, you have to fit it for that crowd. <clears throat> Obviously, this happened. I don't know what's going on with young people nowadays, but wedding becomes something that very interesting subject because that's the wet my three son and daughter get married, and I find out what insane he works. 
front of me. The minute you get married, that the serious opinion the offer you have when it will be done. And most of the time, they check YouTube and Facebook. I don't do the wedding cake. Take them almost six months to decide what. <laughs> that's God. They serve and serve and looking for the best photographer. And they, they talk about every single step, how they're moving, the DJ, the song. I don't know how this, every time they try to make different, but I attend a lot of weddings. Somehow, some way, I walk the wedding, there are always some music and people dancing, whatever, <laughs> walking. Even they're different, but they're the same. And after that, there is uh, the bride, the groom dance, and there's a group of people, they have a show dance or something. And uh, yeah, here are the beautiful cave. And then, uh, and they go change clothes. <laughs> I asked, where, where are the bride? Oh, she changed clothes. So, so see the new, new clothes, and they're blah, whatever, blah, 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 blah. And then, next day, my sister would come and drink it. Where is she? <laughs> change clothes again. <laughs> Right. All most of the time, guests around, whatever, family, have fun, try to take picture. And uh, you know what? For most weddings, we find out just a handful of people surround the bride and uh, the group take a picture. The family have no picture, <laughs> or have very little picture, because in most of the time they spend is changing clothes, <laughs> four or five clothes. <laughs> What is wrong with these people? <laughs> and then also, <laughs> and also when they have a wedding, they even say, we don't want a big wedding, a big wedding. we don't want you folk. We want to go to some beautiful place, destination. <laughs> They go to the moon, and they go to the mountain, <laughs> or they want to go to the ocean, where there's the beach behind, and they have to do it to the sunset, and they go to the place far away, so that the old people, the, our people cannot afford not to be there, so they have to make sure that the last people to be there, be too many of you, but they fetch my wedding. No more uncle or parents. No more whoever loves you, care for you, or take care of you, or pray for you. They just want to hang for people. Did you know why? They want to have a perfect picture. I don't know what's wrong with these people. They grow up, they have babies. And, you know, the way they prepare for the for a, a, a baby birthday, it's going to be great. <laughs> Nowadays, before three, four day uh, birthday, they got to decide, uh, they get a group of them together, what team, what team we're going to have a birthday party for our children. Maybe shark, <laughs> maybe whatever, maybe dinosaur, and anybody have to dress the same way. <laughs> the preparation they spent a lot of money about. Food prepared three days ago, and the food so much, three days after, they still try to consume it. <laughs> they have jumping house, they have everything. And they bring so many people to come together, but you know what? They never really spend time with kids because they're so busy carrying food. Uh, how, how funny you dress as a shark, uh, whatever. <laughs> they forgot when they grow up, when they have a, wet, uh, have a birthday, they forgot they have to find a joy 
I'm sitting down in the old day like I thought. Maybe I'm too old. I remember when those kids when they grow up in the 70s, we take them to a little ice cream parlor. You know, we bring about three, four kids with them. We have ice cream, we spend hours with them, talk with them. And that's a lot more family time. And they, we really know the kid, know their friend. Nowadays, nobody knows nothing. Nothing but a show. <laughs> so they put it on, they all the thing they do is just because they just try to copy some YouTube, some stupid people on YouTube. They all want to create something. Create something to be able to people to click on them. The more people do more crazy on YouTube, the more people want to watch it and the more people want it to be gay. So in this well-informed life, they don't live their life. They live, the reason they're in debt because they have to have that shoe, they have to have that party, they have to have that cake, they have to have that purse. Somehow, the manufacturer realized they're going to sell these people an image that you're going to look prettier or better with the purse. <laughs> Somehow, if you have a purse with this logo, it's going to make you more beautiful. <laughs> if you're willing to pay a little more. And they also, so most women now compare, so is men. You know, all the car, they put a little bit, all the car have different brand and different size spectrum. You know, little addition on the car, little turbo here, little uh, special edition there, and you want to outdo other guys. You talk about it, insanity people. And you know what? They do it. All of them do it, majority of them because you want our people to watch them. But they never watch themselves how ridiculous they live the life for others, not for that themselves, or even for their family. That's wonderful. <laughs> See, for a guy like me, in this world of insanity, those who have some sanity, you are doing better. In a world confusing people and you have some calamity, you are doing better. If there are people who drink a lot, you sell less of them more healthy food, you have money. And in a world people spending, you sell saving, you have money. In a world people have a lot of waste, and you be able to show that you can be able to help people to cut down waste. Enough people listen to you, you will make a fortune. And as the world goes right now, the better ever the apocalypse we have in our hands. We are the only group of people, the only organization right now in America, or in Canada, or in the world right now. The only group for 100% commitment to help people to get their sanity. If you are not have sanity on your own financial future, you're insane. <laughs> if you're willing to burn your hard earned money, your family's money for someone else, taste, you're insane. Today, more than ever, being a nuclear state is not just about saving money. It's about a different kind of people. The people who really can take a control of their own future. Not only just the natural. The people who really, really have a different perspective. Once you've been here, and you have come campaign with us, you talk about become 
financially secure, you talk long enough, you begin to think. You are the one who most benefit first because you see how insane people out there is spending their money, they live their life for others. You see, all of us know that. A lot of times when we get to the stage that we become dumb. Me too. By the time I become a teenager, I was more concerned about my friend than my mother and my father. And then when I grow up, I'm more concerned about the other guy than my, even my family, my, my children. A lot of time, I spend a lot of time during my 20, 30, hanging around a lot of people and try to please those people. And you know what? Not necessarily for my children. I was there. And my opinion were formed by those people. You know that I wrote the book that one day I woke up. You know, I I so busy in my life for others, why don't I have time for myself? That's why I walk out on different paths and become a little more aware about my action. So to going out and recruiting people, you don't just help them with financial solution, financial, but you are saving someone's sanity. Because if you're not really that control your life, you cannot get control your finances. Or vice versa, the minute you think about control your own finances, you begin to take your life back. You know, there is no such thing as having a crazy uh, spending habit and become financially dependent or become uh, a sane person. Today, family, including my family, your family, is trapped into this vicious cycle because this is the day of social media and YouTube and the blogger. And you know what? You know how many dumb bloggers up there? Any dumb guy can become a website, can create something funny, peculiar for you to subscribe. Everybody out there is a, a new coach for you right now. Anybody going to teach you something weird? So you have to, and, and you have the ability for you to begin to reflect and to position yourself. Because if you're not reflecting and position yourself, and you do not know where you will go next. You want to be go with the flow, and you you become a victim. You become a part of the group, and the group die. You die. The group is heading for death and street. You go to death and street. Don't think it's about time to going out. You know what? I fall in love, beginning with the financial education campaign, but I'm much, much more convicted, much more convinced, is so, so strongly about the job we do in the internet. I believe that there is 350 million people in North America. Last thing I checked, in the US, the, the adult age, 18 years or over is over 200 million people. Now, I think that if we included the people that are 15 or 14, 15 years old, we should be indicated. In just America alone, there should be about 250 million people need to be educated. And in Canada, with about 30 something million, probably about 20 million people need to be financially educated. Here we go, what I'm talking If you are excited about what you can do to people, it's your job to be able to bring people in here, get them exposed to some sanity about money, and the minute they see about people like you and I who have more concern about our financial future, eventually they can see that we are the one who have control of our future. 
and begin to pick up a bit more saying, you just save somebody's life. Because that's what I think. I was one of those guys who live for others. The minute I get to here and begin to see, oh, there's, there's no sad. There's people who have a fervor. They go somewhere. They are winning. Even though they just like me and they struggle like me, but they have some hope. I hang around with people who are very good looking. They talk not sad. And they spend money. And they struggle financially. But they always look good. And I tire those people. And I want to be here. So I've been very, very conservative with my finance for a long, long time. Even though today I make good money. But I'm very proud about my way of handling my money. You know, some logo doesn't make me more handsome. Well, this logo makes me much smarter. You know, Calvin Klein cannot make me more handsome. Listen, you know, do, I, do I stop people who enjoy something that they like? Or drive the car that you love to know. But do it when you have plenty of money. But do that when you have plenty of money. You will do it when you way, way beyond the force. You know what I find out? When you don't make enough money, you like to show. The day that you make too much money, there's nothing to show. So we have a recruiting business. Now, so first you should be, you 